Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. In today's episode, we are going to do a little bit of a product testing and review. So I've got this product here. It's called Dose Spider Silk. It's a leather strengthener and revival serum. So what it's supposed to do is supposed to take your scratched or chafed leather and repair it. And it does that through creating a, a web of polymers, kind of like a spider web, I guess, and uh, do multiple coats, as many as you want, buff the heck out of it, and then it's supposed to make that leather look better. So I've got a test area here on my BMW M4. This spot here has been chafed over the years with my seatbelt. And you can see there as well. So we're gonna try this and see if we can get rid of that. So let's go. So a couple things about the product here. It does say on the website that it is not made in California, still made in the USA, American flag right there, but it uses ingredients that they're not allowed to use in California, which I guess is where a large number of these type of products, conditioners, cleaners, uh, they come out of the state of California. This does not. So they're able to put some things in here that are supposed to allow it to do its job better than some of the uh, rebranded or more you know generic solutions coming out of the state of California. Now, I don't know that to be true. That's what's on the website, and we are going to still test it to find out. Now they say you can use a microfiber towel to apply it or a foam applicator. I'm going to use the foam applicator. It does say that if you get it on your hands, you can just wash the soap and water, but here's the application directions here. If that's something that you would like to pause and read for yourself. And here is a little more description of what it claims to do. So I'm going to do my best to film this with one hand and uh, so you'll see me apply it on here, generously rub it in. I'll grab another microfiber towel to buff it out and I'm just going to keep building up the layers until we try and get this to hopefully disappear. I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, that's one application. Now, you saw I did some extra areas there because as I was going, I could see a little more wear. So let's buff it off and we'll keep trying. Flip the rag, a little more pass. Okay, let's have a closer look. There's one coat. You can still see some of the chafing there. Definitely moistened it, that way it doesn't uh, show up as much. You see the wrinkles when I get up close. Okay, well I want to at least try maybe three, four times. So let's give it another go. It's funny, I cleaned my leather prior to the video and there's still some grime that came up. So that could have been deeper in the scratches. Maybe it was in some of the stitching. Well, either way, I'm going to use the other corner. A little more on there. I don't know if I'm using too much or too little. I guess we'll find out. Put my rag around. Okay, it's twice. I mean, it looks better, but I don't know if those 
wrinkles will ever come out of there. But if I was to stand back and look at the car, you do not see the white chafing there. See a little bit of the damage still in the back here. It's hard to see on camera. Well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do a third and then a fourth. Maybe we'll get crazy and even do a fifth. So I'll do a time lapse of this part. Okay, we got five applications on there. Let's have a closer look and see if it improved everything. I don't think we doubt that it improved it. Let me just move this up a little bit here. So here's the back of the seat. I see one little nick. I don't even know if that's a nick, but no, it's not. It's just the way the light's hitting it. Well, maybe it's a nick. We got a little bit of the chafing there, but it is vastly improved. As we come down the seat from this angle, you can see the damage is still there. From straight on and about this far away, it's almost disappeared. You know, I'm pretty impressed because when you used to open my door, you would see this area here, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and it looked like a cat had been scratching it till uh, all the white in the leather started to show. And in here in the bolsters, there's a, a big wear mark there. But, guys, it looks like it cleaned it up really good. And you know what's neat is this is just the repair. We can still put our favorite protector, whatever we like to use. They make a product as well, um, but you can still treat it for protection. So I would say the product does like it says. So if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.